Mr. President, I can't thank you. I think of a better way to kick off this visit. When I uh, visited Nairobi as Vice President, I said that the true strength of, uh, of Kenya was its people. Uh, and uh, the students, workers, founders, activists, and in innovators, entrepreneurs, and so many people like you who really do, do depend on democracy and support democracy. Thank you. And uh, today, as we honor 60 years of ties between our countries, it's clear that our people are the true strength of this partnership and, uh, and a partnership that's working well. Nowhere is it more important than in the realm of innovation. That's why we have so many business leaders around this table. From Silicon Valley to Silicon Savannah, uh, our people have brought us forward and they pioneered new technologies that are transforming millions of lives. I mean, literally millions of lives and it's going to go beyond that. And we've invested in new industries that have uh, generated billions of dollars economically. And they've created new opportunities that have lifted up our countries uh, across both our continents. And uh, our people and our innovators have uh, also brought together. Uh, uh, we are all excited about this. I mean, I've not seen my team so excited about uh, a visit in a long time. Uh, and I think it's all because of the American companies that are here. But uh, oh, I'm not kidding. As uh, for President, as you and I discussed, uh, we'll discuss tomorrow, we're launching a new era of technology, technological cooperation between Kenya and America, including new exchanges and investments in key fields of cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and semiconductors. And uh, this progress is thanks in large part to the leaders around this table. So my message is really straightforward and simple. Thank you, and thank you, and keep it up. We're going to see more technological change in the next 10 years. I've been saying this a long time, and I mean it, than we've seen in the last 50 years. And we need your help to seize this moment. We really do. And uh, we, need your we need you to help us find opportunities to bring the public and private sectors together. And we need you to help us strengthen the supply chains and industries of the future, including clean energy and e-commerce as well. And we need you to keep investing in the diversity of our democracies, which will make this innovation possible. So in return, I promise we'll prioritize technological partnerships between our countries. In return, I think, uh, as I said, we're going to prioritize the technological partnership between our countries and, uh, and our former make CEO, uh, uh, who was also a former CEO, is going to make sure that happens. And Vice President Harris is already building a new public-private partnership to increase investments in innovation. And because our cooperation matters, it's not just for our own people, but for people around the world. If this relationship continues to grow as it is, I think it benefits not only the United States and Kenya, but will lead and will have positive benefits literally around the world. So thank you again for being here and look forward to working with you. And, uh, and, uh, you know, we keep investing in the true strength of our nations, our people, and uh, in the years ahead.